<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Mud15 gameplay. Very excited to show you guys my brand new team, some gameplay. My brand new team. I made a small adjustment. I got Alshon Jeffries, final edition, 95 overall. And that's a pretty good card, man. I actually uh, sold Andre Johnson. That's a 95 overall, too. All around, you know, they both, um, between him and Andre Johnson, there's a little bit of a difference in some things. Um, and that's not, it wasn't really the reason why I got Asan Jeffries. I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to try him out, man. I had seen him. I had enough coins for the set. Uh, the set took me 107,000 coins. So, um, which is actually not that bad because I actually already had the, um, the Fletcher Cox, I believe it was, that was like the big, the big card in that one. So I already had it. So, and it was my first time I ever completed a set, man. And, uh, as a wide receiver that I actually like, man, I actually um, drafted Asha Jeffries in one of my fantasy football leagues, so he's definitely someone I'm very I'm very fond of, man, so it was kind of nice to get him, man. He's actually in this game right now, man, my opponent gets the first touchdown of this contest. Yeah, he's actually in the game right now. I want to talk about some of the new mud contact real quick, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not, of course, I'm not going to give you guys an a overview of everything that's going on as far as the mud contact. I'm sure you've seen it from a million other different commentators, so there's no need for me to uh, you know, tell you guys again. But look at this right here, man. Nice little break-off tackle by Joe Cool. I find somebody wide open. The boy Jordy Nelson, 95, team of the year. Jordy Nelson getting the first touchdown for me in this contest, man. Make the score 7-7. Seven seven. Let's go. But yeah, hold on. Check out this, man. Right? Look at this beautiful play right here. Here, man, just burn Sherman. Sherman has a problem with those little speedy receivers, man. I was starting to notice about them. Good, good cornerback in this game. That 94 overall Sherman is a beast. You'll see why in some games. But um, he has a little bit of a problem with those short, fast um, wide receivers for some reason. It's going to be some nice pass on him on the left hand side. But at any rate, um, like I was saying about the content real quick, I love it. I love how they came up with a whole lot of content. I just want to point out a few things and what it makes me want to do. It makes me just want to. Try everyone out, man. Anyone that's like 92 or 94 overall or higher, I just want to give them a try, man. Probably 92 and higher, you know, and just uh, you know, see how they um, see how they say how they roll. There's so many things that makes me want to do, man. But I don't have the time to do a lot of things that I like to do. Like, I'm, I'm so busy, man. That's why you guys are getting on um, this video at this time right now. But uh, I'm after a while, I'm playing a couple games of this season because like, this is a fresh team, man. This is a fresh team, and I don't want to change like, too many things up too quickly. So, but after a while, maybe after a season, maybe even next season, a season or two, I might just start getting random guys, man. I might get that, that 92 overall, Fred Jackson, see how he plays. I might get the, the 94 overall, um, Anquan Bolden, see how that works. But uh, one thing I also wanted to say that was a huge difference, not a huge difference, but a, a significant difference between the 95 overall team of the week under Johnson and the 95 overall final edition, um, Alshon Jeffries is Alshon Jeffries run block is a 70 man, which is uh, it's actually kind of a big deal because I, I I run more in mud than I pass for some strange reason, man. <laughs> I guess because it's just uh it's a little bit easier for me to sort of speak, but at any rate, man, I have the ball right here going into the second half, scored 14 to 14. Speaking of running boys, you got to do three runs in a row right there on that third and one. Give it to Vontae Leach. If you count Vontae Leach, I have six running backs. But look at this fumble right here. Oh my goodness, man. My well, boy Tavon Austin, a very rare fumble by Tavon Austin. I tried to cut out to the uh, to the outside, but I ended up going to the inside. Like, I usually went to the outside with him, so I usually don't go into the inside. It's probably why I don't fumble that much. But check out this man, the boy Antoine Patea getting a huge catch. Some probably consider him the um, the weak link on my defense, but he's a, oh, he's a nine five overall card, so I don't know if you can say that. But man, every once in a while he'll make a huge play like that. That play was huge, man. That's third quarter right here. It's fourteen to fourteen. I need to find a way to get a score to see what I can do, man. Look at a nice little run play right there with Jamal Charles giving me second and one. Or second inches, I'm sorry. Then I get a nice little play right here to Grunk, man. It's trying to mix it up just a little bit, but giving him more run to pass. And I get a wide open lane right here with Trey Mason, man. An outstandingly brilliant card. That Trayvon Mason is one of my favorite cards on the team, man, on offense, man. He just, he breaks tackles. He can catch. And he's fast, man. He just has a little bit of everything. Third down to seven. I was getting ready to force it, but I ended up getting sacked. That suck, sack probably helped me more than uh, than anything. Because if I would have forced him through it, it probably would have been a pick, man. I'm almost 100% sure it would have been a pick. So I take a three-point lead, 17 to 14 here. And that's pretty good. But check out this play right here, man. Michael Vick, the 99 overall. Vick fumbles right here. The boy Byron Maxwell picks it up, scoops it up. And we get a touchdown right here. Not sure what I was doing at the end right there, but I'll take a TD and a 10-point lead. Let's go, man. First down, 10. Is a nice little play over here to the right-hand side. This guy had a little bit of everybody, man. He had the Bo Jackson, the 99 overall Vic. I think I don't think it's the 24 hour one though, but I think that's a, uh, I think that's the one you get in the set. I believe that's Chris Matthews right there. Don't quote me on that. 
And he has some, he has some stunners, man. He definitely has some stunners, man. I like his jerseys too, man. Just throws to the left, right here, trying to figure out a way to come down here and get to this end zone. In the fourth quarter, a little over two minutes left, and gets a nice little pass right here, man. Squeezing that one in, right in there. I thought I had that. Check out this one play right here, man. Great spin move right here, man. Almost getting to the end zone, but thankfully, I end up tackling him. First down, go and see what he got. I get the interception user pick with 95 overall. Luke Keekley, the one I got from like my second season. He's been rolling with me for eight seasons, man. Let's go. It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. And I'm out.